We're working on a 2011 M3 and we're doing a pre-purchase inspection. This client is looking to purchase this vehicle and our job is to do the inspection to see what shape it's in uh, mechanically, physically, body-wise, interior, um, and obviously maintenance-wise, whatever we can see. So I'm going to just do a, a walk around. Overall, the body looks like it's in um, excellent shape. No damages in the bumper. There aren't any damages on the fender. Mirrors look okay. The rear quarter looks fine. Rear bumper. There's like a slight scuff in this area. It looks like it's been buffed out minor scratches which would be expected in the year that it is a few scratches down here on the left rear quarter bumper area yeah I think overall it looks pretty good the body uh, we have the seal on the window starting to break a little bit and these seals are starting to chip so you may need to replace this seal. Looks like maybe they had something here. Maybe a rack or something over the top of the car. And the seals are also dry rotting around the windshield and around the top of the window. See how the hood looks. It looks like it's in pretty good shape as well. All right, from the top of the engine, from the outside, everything looks clean. I don't see any signs of any oil leaks. Again, not from from the top. We need to get a little bit deeper in there. We'll look from underneath and see if we see anything. Let's go in the inside. All right, our first glance, it looks like the leather is in good shape. Carpets look like they're in pretty good shape. Leather looks like it's in good shape on the seats. Don't see any damages. The panels are pretty secure. Nothing broken. It's working properly. Now we're going to take a look at the rear seat. The rear seat leathers look like they're in good shape. Looks like they've been barely sat on. All right, interior panels, center console is okay. Uh, carpets are fine. Okay, we're going to take a look at the passenger side. Carpets look pretty clean. Leather work looks good. Everything looks good on the leather. Normal wear and tear, some minor scuffs on the plastic. Alright, let's see if this one works. This one goes in and out. That's okay. The seat's moving forward and back electronically. Alright, the seat folds forward. The rear carpet looks good, as well as the rear seat on this side as well and the center console is fine. Okay, so now we're in the car, looking at the cluster. We're gonna start it up and see what we see. All right, the seatbelt holders are retracting. We have a check engine light on. Oh, the AC came on, there's a little bit of a musty smell. Very slight. You may need a new cabin filter, I would do that to start. Uh, if not, you'd have to do a treatment for the AC, uh, an ionizer. So, check engine light is on. The brake is on because I have the parking brake on. Okay. All right, so there's some issue with the brake system because I have the parking brake down and the brake light went back to yellow. There is definitely an issue. It looks like we have a traction control light on, a DSC malfunction, which is for the traction control. Um, the check engine light is on as well. Maybe the two are related, but I'm not sure at this point. Um, 
we'll put the park emergency brake back on. And there's your malfunction. So there's a malfunction with the DSC system. Go with the radio for a second. All right, let's see if we got our four ways. Our four ways are working. We'll check the lights on the outside in a little bit. All right, let's see the locks. Locks are unlocking and locking. So that's working properly. Okay, we have the shifter. Put it in reverse. Okay. First, so drive, downshift, upshift. All right, that's working. All right, the leather on the interior, on the uh, parking brake is a little loose. It's not staying in place. I'm not sure how this stays here, but it should. When you squeeze the button, you end up pulling the lever out. You gotta pull back and push. And then release. So this leather needs to be resecured. Maybe a new, new piece here. All right, let's see if cup holder works. Cup holders are working. Start stop button is a little abused from the time that it's been used. AC is coming out pretty cold, but it's not a super hot day here today. I think it's in the 60 late or uh, you know. High 60s, low 70s. All right, headlights are functioning. All right, so we're gonna try the radio. Okay, so the radio volume is fine. Bass sounds pretty good. I don't hear any distorted speakers, so you should be okay on the on the sound system. Okay, this piece just popped off. I don't think that's a major deal, but uh, uh, if you pull down far enough, that separates. It looks like the panel is missing also. There's supposed to be a panel on the back of the, the uh, glove box, and those two white holes, that's missing. Uh, what was that? It looks like the bottom of the uh, glove box is a little dirty or scratched up. The other cup holder is working. Okay, we're gonna try the sunroof. Smooth operation, open. Smooth operation, closed. Sunshade, opens, closes smoothly. And I'm not sure what this wire is for, but there's a wire um, sitting on top of the visor here. Somebody ran it up. Maybe they had a, uh, a radar detector or something. I don't know what that plug is for. But the rearview mirror looks pretty clear. Looks crisp. Um, yeah, I don't see any black marks. The rearview mirror looks okay as well. And on the other side, the rearview mirror looks good. There's no black marks from it overheating from the CE from the mirror heaters. This visor looks good. Okay. So, so far, the interior looks like it's in pretty good shape. I, I would say that that's very good, excellent condition. Um, the, we're going to have to look into the check engine light and the DSC light and see what, what's tripping for those reasons. And we'll look under the chassis to see how it looks under there. All right, now we have the vehicle up in the air. <clears throat> the, um, the brakes look okay. The rotors look okay as well if I get my finger in there all right there's a very very small lip but it looks like they're they're all right we'll take it for a road test and see if it's any vibration um, tires are dry rotting a little bit on the edges uh, we'll look at the other side okay we got two 45 35 ZR 19s Pirelli's so they got good tires on there 
Pirelli's on the back as well. Same uh, issue with the dry rotting of the tires. You now you can see them cracking on the inside. So the tires, although the tread is okay, it's not really a good tire. The tire should be replaced. There's some chipping in the rim going around. See, I mean minor. It's definitely been repainted. It's black. I don't know if these come black, but it's been repainted. There's some chips and they're using it to hide it. So it's not a bad thing if you're not concerned with it, but uh, it's definitely worth noting. Let me see how the brakes look in the back. So the brakes are like halfway worn in the back. Um, the inner pad might be a little bit more and the rotor has a larger lip than the than the, the other side. So you might feel some vibrations. We'll see again when we drive. Tires are getting worn on this side. You can see they're hitting the, the wear indicator, which is uh, this little dot right here. So that that's it's level with that. Uh, dry rotting again. Same tires, brake pads, same condition. And we'll go to the front. Alright, brake pads are still pretty good on the front. I think the front pads and rotors are probably okay. Uh, rims have again minor curb curbage. Maybe we'll check this other rim. Now that rim's pretty good. Now we're gonna go back over here. This rim is pretty good as well. It's a minor curb damage. Okay, so I have the vehicle up in the air. Uh, I'm not gonna record everything so we can keep the video data low. Uh, so when we transfer it to YouTube, it won't take so long. But um, <clears throat> the tires are, are, are destroyed on the inside here. So the belt, let's see if I can zoom here. The belt is showing. So you definitely need tires. We, we said that the, tr the tires are cracking. So it probably needs an alignment as well. Tires are cracking here. The suspension looks like it's in pretty good shape. There are no broken boots or joints that feel loose. You have a little bit of damage in the um, in the joint or the ball joint section of the uh, of the sway bar link. So they're minimal cost. You know, normal wear and tear. I don't think anything out of this world. Um, you got that. The exhaust looks like it's in good shape all the way down the length of the vehicle. Uh, there isn't any differential leaks. The axle boots look okay. Uh, there's a little bit of, uh, well this side is good. The, the joints on this side are good. But on this side, you can see one of them is torn. Hard to focus, but you can see it right there. One of the boots are torn. So this lower joint is probably gonna wear out sooner than later, because it's not getting adequate grease. And, um, but again, that was probably just maybe something hit it on the road or just dry rotting a little bit. Not too bad. Brake lines look okay. No cracks. Emergency brake cable doesn't look rusted. And same thing. Uh, the, the hoses look okay. So I'm going to, uh, you know, I've looked over the vehicle a little bit more before I made the video. And uh, just trying to focus on the issues and give you a quick overview. So I think overall the vehicle looks pretty good on the bottom half of the car. And uh, we'll test out its uh, ability when we take it for a ride. The one thing we did notice though is I noticed this panel here is a little loose. However, it's secured. You know, someone kind of made some makeshift cable uh, to hold the panel from falling. It's not a major deal, um, but that's how they supported it, I guess. I don't think that's factory. Uh, maybe it is factory, but hmm. So anyways, that's, that's broken either which way. That's broken, so that, that's uh, gonna be noted. And uh, we're gonna go on to, to the electronic side of things. I'll check everything out and then I'll try to give you a quick overview. Mm -hmm. well, I just wanted to add really quick, the wheel well panel is broken on this, on the passenger front. All right, lastly, we, I looked at the rims and the front rims have a slight bend. Very, very slight, not a big, not a big deal. You might feel it on the road, but it might be able to be balanced out. The rear, I can't spin them fast enough because with the whole linkage and everything uh, connected to the drive, drive train, I'd have to put the car in drive. I'd have to put the car in drive to test it out and 
Uh, we're not going to do that at this moment. So we'll drive it and see how it feels. Before we get over to the electronic side, I wanted to take a look under the engine to see if there was any oil leaks. There's a slight oil leak here, but it looks like it might be coming from the drain plug or right around the lower section of the pan. So it's not much at all. It's just starting to show uh, a little bit of oil. Let's see if I can zoom, focus. A little bit of oil there. And um, this is just sweating around the drain plug, so I wouldn't even be concerned. Maybe just do an oil change and uh, put a new seal and clean it up and see if it comes back. All right, uh, there, is, there are a little bit of... Uh, you can see up there. It's a little difficult to see, but there's a little bit of sweating coming from around the valve cover on the passenger side. The driver's side looks pretty clean. All right, so my battery's running a little bit low on the phone, so I am going to pause the video here, upload this one to YouTube, and send it over to the client, so that way he can um, get a head start on seeing what's going on with the vehicle before he makes this purchase. And in the meantime, I'll hook up the computer and we will check the uh, electronic side, see what that check engine light's coming on for as, far, as well as the traction control and see if we can go from there.